Hi, my name is Jim Pasquin with VSM Technologies. This video here is for placement of antennas, making sure that they're properly installed without any issues. We start with our cellular antenna. The, the connector is color coded and marked. We plug it into the box, run the wire, making sure that it's tied to any existing wiring harness and away from sharp edges. And also we make sure that we stay away from the brake mechanism and the steering mechanism here. Um, so that it doesn't interfere with the operation of the vehicle. Please note that the vehicle is driven and will vibrate, so making sure that any vibrations will not affect the wiring. Now also what we need to do is the placement of the antenna is making sure that it gets the full RF signal. Placing it on plastic, which is a good thing. If we place it on metal, it only gets half of the signal. So placing it on plastic helps. You can put it either on top of the dash or under the dash providing that it does not affect any operation of the vehicle. Now we'll move on to our GPS antenna. It is also color coded and marked. We run it the same way we do the cellular antenna. We could actually run it alongside it, right? Making sure that it's not uh, interfering with any steering or brake mechanisms and also any sharp edges. With placement of the GPS antenna, what we need to do is place it on the dash or under the dash on a horizontal position pointing to the sky. We do not want any metal objects interfering with it because what we need is best view to the sky to the satellites. And we'd like to keep it away from the uh, wiper area or any metal that may interfere. So we try to be very cautious on where we mount it and making sure that it gets the best signal possible. This concludes my video on antenna placements. Please look at my other videos on troubleshooting with lights, which will be able to help you further on troubleshooting any other issues that pertain to antennas, lights, ECM.